In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed Google Maps into your Wix website. Now you've got a couple of options. I'm going to show you what your options are in this quick tutorial video. So let's jump into it. So here I am inside of the Wix editor. You need to get to the editor of your choice of the website you want to add your location to. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can go ahead and embed the Google Maps widget straight from Google Maps, or you can go ahead and click on add elements. And here, if you go to search and type in here maps, you'll see full width Google Maps, and you'll also see Google Maps. Now these are Google Maps widgets from Wix, and if you go ahead and click on any of these, it can be full width or the standard Google Maps integration. You can then go to manage locations, and here you can type in an address of your business, right? So let's say our business is called Broomhouse Lodge. I've just opened this business on Google Maps, super random. But if it was, we could just paste in our business name here and it will recognize it. So here it is. And you can also title this, give it a title and a description. Now that is embedding using the widget in Wix. If you wanted to just embed the actual map from Maps, you'd go to Google Maps, you'd click on your business and you'd open the like my business page on Google Maps. You'd then go share and embed a map. Here you can grab the iframe link of this medium map and this is going to be embedding the actual Google Maps to your website. And once you've got the iframe copied, you can go to add elements and you can then search for HTML. Then go to embeds and embed HTML. This is what you're looking for. And if you wanted to do it this way and paste in the code from Google Maps, you just paste it in, you click update, and then it should recognize this is the Google Map. There we go. We can then make this as big as it needs to be. We can get rid of this scroll. And there you go. You've now added your location. So there's basically three ways you can do it. I hope that quick video did help you out.